Hi, today I'd like to talk about um, living independently um, as your disease progresses. Like many of you, I worked for a company for 15 years before I had to retire. And I used to make um, a fair amount of money, so when I got my Social Security disability, it was quite high. I earned uh, $1,600 a month on Social Security disability. That's not quite enough to um, live on, but it's um, way too much to get any kind of Medicaid help as far as medical benefits or a caregiver, like in my case, is um, needed quite a bit. Um, I decided to go back to work. At first, I didn't realize that I was doing this for this health care benefit, but I just wanted to earn a couple hundred bucks a month to help pay the bills because I'd previously been having to hire people to help me. I found out about health care for workers with disabilities. It's a Medicaid program and it basically makes you not eligible for Medicaid um, and it doesn't um, hold your assets or income against you like if you're going to just apply for Medicaid. As long as you're disabled and you are working, um, you can uh, get this benefit. You do need have to have a cap on your income. Uh, there's a formula that it, they use, but it's somewhere around $2,000 a month you can earn. Um, anyway, after I got this Medicaid benefit, it paid for um, the 100% of my medical on top of the 80% that was I was getting before for Medicare. It pays for 90 hours a month of um, uh, home care for me, which I need desperately, and it pays for uh, my, I get discounts on my medic medications, they're only $1.10 a piece, and um, I get um, free transportation to and from appointments, and um, a whole bunch of other discounts on like utilities and things like that. So it's really saved me a lot of money. All I do is pay the $139 premium that um, they have a formula for how much that's going to be. And they pay my Medicare premium. So I get my full Social Security check and then I write a check to health care for workers with disabilities. Now, working in Social Security is kind of tricky because they do have lots of rules to follow. And um, I went ahead and played by their rules and I um, signed up with an employment uh, network, which was the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation and Vocational um, Rehab Services through Harborview Medical Center. This enabled me to um, get help with um, my job as far as equipment, um, training, and hooking me up with my employer. I did kind of escalate to the top of the list because I do have a visual impairment and I am in a wheelchair, so I realize there is kind of a waiting list for people that aren't that far yet. But this video is to kind of inform people as things progress that they have options for still remaining independent and not having to um, lose everything and go into Section 8 um, housing or a, um, a care facility, at least not yet. Um, so basically you need I need to play by the rules and I do have to submit my pay stubs every month to Social Security Disability um, they waived my medical review because I did go through the employment network for getting the job. If you get the job on your own, um, you um, are, it's possible you could get a medical review, which could make it um, difficult. You might lose your Social Security. So there's lots of um, rules to be aware of. Anyway, that's... Um, basically the gist of this video. I just wanted to let people know that there is um, another option um, out there and um, 
it's helping me a lot. I've had some progression this last year, and I really needed um, this Medicaid benefit. I, you know, if I didn't work, I would lose everything. But uh, fortunately, my boss works with me. Right now, I work two days a week, four hours at a time. So I'm not I'm earning a lot, but um, what I get in benefits is um, huge. So anyway, that's it for this video. Bye.